Hello, I'll be discussing two cases of renal artery interventions using the Magellan Robotics System. Our first case involves a 76-year-old gentleman who underwent an endovascular aortic aneurysm repair, including a right renal artery snorkel to establish a seal for the EVAR. The patient also had a concurrent left renal artery high-grade stenosis that was to be addressed in a separate setting. The patient had severe ischemic nephropathy with rapidly progressive oliguric renal failure with an increasing creatinine. This left renal artery high-grade stenosis was addressed in a separate setting and was attempted from the breaker approach to perform angioplasty stenting. However, this proved to be unsuccessful. This is just a completion aerogram after the EVAR and right renal artery snorkel, and this is shown just to illustrate the anatomy of the left renal artery high-grade stenosis with the downward-facing renal artery. A, an attempt from the breaker approach in a different setting from the EVAR was attempted approximately two weeks after the EVAR, and despite using multiple wires and catheters of low profile as well as a low profile balloon, we were unable to cross the high-grade renal artery stenosis with a catheter. Despite having a sheath parked at the left renal artery orifice, no catheter or low profile balloon would track over our wire. And after 107 minutes of fluoroscopy time and total procedure time of 168 minutes, the attempts were terminated and reassessed for an alternative option. So we felt that the patient still needed revascularization of the left renal artery high-grade stenosis to preserve its extraterrestrial renal function. Therefore, the Magellan robotic system was considered, and mainly because of the catheter and sheath pushability that the Magellan robotic system could offer that apparently we had difficulty with from the breaker approach, despite using multiple different wires and catheters. The sheath stability that the robot would provide, having the sheath form towards the renal artery for precise stent deployment. This is our selective run of the left renal artery high-grade stenosis using the Magellan robotic catheter. You can see that the robotic leader is already engaged into the left renal artery orifice. We had very little difficulty in tracking this catheter in, in through the high-grade stenosis. We did perform pre-dilation with the low-profile balloon, and after removing the leader, we had formed our sheath and parked it just up to the left renal artery orifice and positioned our balloon expandable stent where we wanted. And this is post-deployment. We see a good technical result with minimal residual stenosis and an excellent nephrogram. And this was performed using the Magellan robotic system with a floor speed time of 25.2 minutes, contrast of 45 cc's, and a total procedure time of about 100 minutes. And using the robotic system, we really did not use any other catheter other than the robot and only one type of wire, which is a thermo 0.018 thermo gold wire. And just comparing the two approaches, the conventional approach from the brachial and the robotic approach from the femoral, you can see the fluoroscopy time is about a quarter compared to the brachial approach. Uh, total procedure time is about an hour less. We use a little bit more contrast with the robotic approach because we do not use CO2 contrast. I do want to emphasize that the, the conventional manual approach from the brachial was really a dedicated session just to address the left renal artery stenosis apart from the original EVAR. So in summary, the Magellan Robotic System allowed successful angioplasty stenting of a high-grade left renal artery stenosis after a manual failed attempt from the breaker approach. The Magellan Robotic System provided the sheath and catheter pushability that was unable to be performed using manual techniques coming from the arm. Using the robotic catheter, we did avoid any manipulation of the existing right renal artery stent and the EVAR device, and that proved to be not a problem at all. And in conclusion, using the ro robotic system for the left renal artery stenosis from the groin approach proved to be expeditious and potentially less radiation exposure to all staff and patients in the room. And most importantly, the patient did preserve his extra renal function, at least in the short term. He made 800 cc's of urine that night. 
Moving on to our second case. This is a 24-year-old woman who presented to an outside hospital with one to two months of upper abdominal pain that appeared to be worsening. She had no past medical history and other than a laparoscopic colostectomy, was a relatively healthy young woman. She was worked up with an ultrasound and a CT scan of the abdomen pelvis to investigate this abdominal pain. And what was found, incidentally, was a two and a half centimeter left renal artery lower pole sacular aneurysm. And you can see it's located at the hilum of the kidney and comes off just past the first branch point of the lower pole renal artery. This is just a coronal view of the same aneurysm. You can see the left renal artery and sacular aneurysm that comes into view occupying the hilum of the renal artery. So our treatment objective was to repair this aneurysm using endovascular techniques, uh, using coil embolization. We wish to avoid a complex open surgical repair in this patient, which she would require if endovascular techniques would fail, given the anatomic location of the aneurysm being at the hilum of the kidney. Um, renal artery aneurysms are rare in general, however, it's known that they have a higher risk of rupture in women of childbearing age, and our patient is a young 24-year-old woman with no other medical problems who wish to have more children in the future, which further encourage us to fix this aneurysm. And because this renal artery aneurysm was arising from the lower pole of the left renal artery, we wish to preserve the renal parenchyma as much as possible in this young patient. Therefore, we elected to use the Magellan robotic system in this patient and really to take advantage of the sheath and catheter stability in performing the aneurysm embolization through a microcatheter. And the idea was to have the sheath and leader parked at the aneurysm neck and deploy coil through a microcatheter and we do not want any possibility of having the microcatheter slip out during our embolization procedure. And due to the really small diameter of this aneurysmal neck, if the microcatheter did in fact kick out into the main renal artery, trying to regain access into this small neck and in the aneurysm with existing coils would have proven very difficult. So having the support of the leader and sheath of the robot was anticipated. This is the original diagnostic aerogram in this patient. You can see on the left, you can see a nice sacular aneurysm arising from the lower pole of the left renal artery. This is a selective shot of the left renal artery, and you can see the sacular aneurysm fill, and the origin is right off the takeoff of the left lower renal pole. Now, this is a fluoroscopy image of the Magellan catheter, the nine French using the leader, which is being formed towards the left renal artery orifice. This image shows the robot having wire access into the left renal artery. We used a thermo point oh and a gold wire to lead and see the leader advance into the proximal portion of the left renal artery and sheet that follows. At this point, we telescope the sheath to the proximal portion of the left renal artery over our leader. This is a selective run, and we were able to park our sheath into the proximal left renal artery and have the leader parked just at the neck of the sacular aneurysm. And you can see the aneurysm fills in isolation with no other filling of the branches distally. So we knew we had good position to start deploying our coil through a microcatheter. Now this just shows us wire access into the sacular aneurysm through our leader. And microcatheter was then advanced into our aneurysm and you can see our first coil going in and forming in the aneurysmal sac. And these are just more coils that are used. We used the EV3 uh, detachable microcoils and here's after multiple coils packed tightly into the aneurysm and our completion selective angiogram showing a good technical result 
you can see exclusion of the aneurysm and filling of the lower pole parenchyma of the kidney. And this is just a AP aerogram completion run demonstrating a nice nephrogram with exclusion of the aneurysm. And this was performed with a fluoroscopy time of 12 minutes, contrast 70 cc's, and a total procedure time about an hour and a half. Now, in summary, the Magellan Robotic System allowed us to repair this hilar left renal artery sacular aneurysm with technical success. It provided us a very stable platform to deliver microcoils through a microcatheter in, in a small space. And having the catheter and sheath parked right up to the neck of the aneurysm allowed us to focus on the delivery of therapy rather than focusing on maintaining our sheath and catheter access. And this procedure was performed in an expeditious manner with minimal contrast and potentially less radiation exposure to everyone in the room. And most importantly, the exclusion of this aneurysm from her circulation ultimately prevents aneurysm rupture in this young patient who wants to have children in the future and averted the need for having complex open surgery.